Hey guys, welcome back to Jamal Route 16. I am your host Javon, and today we have a brand new benchmark. We're testing out Darkest of Days for the Xbox 360. That's right, today we're testing out the Xenia emulator once again on my Intel Core i7 4790 with the AMD RX 570 4GB VRAM graphics card. We're going to be 16GB of DDR3 RAM in dual channel memory mode, and boy! This one is another one that doesn't run on specifically any Xenia build. I actually have to use a Canary Bell, specific Canary Bell from December 13th to get this game to even run for me. The latest Canary Bell as well as the Master Bell do not run this game. It has this option where the new game comes in and when you click on new game, it doesn't go past it. This one does not have the issue. And right off the bat, the game is running, which is quite nice. To be honest with you, this is the first time I'm testing the game and well, it seems to be running at 60 FPS locked. Oh, but there was a jump there, there was a skip there, but... Once again, I have not loaded in any shaders. The shaders are still loading in and the game is running really well. However, though, there's a lot of action that I saw in this game from what I saw, so... Expect the frame rate to just dip and destroy. Right here, here we go. Yeehaw, cowboys, yeehaw. Look at this, there's so much going on. Also, how am I supposed to hate these guys on horses? Look at the way he reloads, holy crap, that's awesome. What is the main objective here? Oh, they're on the ridge. Oh, they can die. I thought, I thought for some reason I couldn't shoot the ones on the ridge. I was like, well, why? That's just weird. It's interesting, but at hectic at the same time. However, this one seems to run on this one seems to run on relatively easy hardware. Nothing too fancy, nothing too too heavy, and it is running well. I do see it's pushing the GPU of our 50% at points though. But like I said, this area is very hectic. There's a lot going on in this area. Crap ton going on in this area. What just happened? Oh, I, I got, I got, oh, I got hit. I was questioning that. Legitimately questioning what happened there. This is one of these Xbox Live Arcade games, isn't it? It's one of those games you look at and like, I've never heard of this. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Seems fun to find enough though, for what it is. I wish it would move past this here right now, but you know. Oh, nice. Hey, wh why are you dead right there? Did everyone leave me or something? I feel like we're losing badly. What the heck? Alexander Morris, I gotta get you out of here. Uh, you gotta go now. The heck is this? What the heck? I thought this was some cowboy western shooter. Apparently not. This is a time travel type crap. Yeah. Awesome! Alright, well now, you, now you've done, you, you've piqued my interest here. Clearly, once again, the C GPU is handling, it's only around 40%. It's handling itself really well. We're only using 4 gigs about RAM. VRAM is a big gig, a gig of VRAM. Hmm. The game runs fine. But once again, I hope you guys enjoy these videos where I show you guys emulated games, you know, how they run. On lower end hardware than normal, I would like to test it on some other, everything lower than what normal people would test it on. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. Seriously, guys, it really helps me out when you subscribe to the channel. Um, I post a lot daily. I also do integrated graphics as well. If you want to play the newest games on integrated graphics, I can show you some configs on how to do so. So if you're interested in any of that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below for Game Related CB Test next on the channel. We seem to be having audio issues now. The audio has gone out. You are yeah, it's clipping in and out, so there is an audio issue in the game. No, it's not perfect, but hey, it runs. I'll see you guys next time. Just enjoy the rest of the gameplay.
I guess you're the fucking new guy, huh? Now, you got some work to do, and I think you should start with some weapons training. Things are a bit different these days. We're sending you out with a rifle and a pistol. Depending on when you're headed, you'll be issued the right guns for that time. You can only carry two guns at a time, but you can pick up any gun you might find. See if you can sight in that old boy. I think you have the right idea. For a quick reload, fire again when it flashes green. If you miss it, your weapon jams up and it takes even longer. You can